Hello everyone, it's Angie here at Beads and Plenty More. Today I thought I'd show you this simple little bracelet here. Um, this one I call my shooting star one bracelet because it basically tapers down as if the star is going across. But I've got beads picked out to do another combination here and I thought I'd show you how it works. So I've got a piece of 24 gauge wire. I cut this 10 centimeters long. And the first side, I don't actually need the beads on there. I'm just going to grab my round nose pliers and I'm going to come about two centimeters, about an inch down here and I'm going to create a loop. Now this loop is going to be a wrapped loop and it's going to need to fit this cording here, this um, Lovely Knots cording. So I want to make sure that fits but then I'm going to take the tail end of it and I'm just going to wrap it to create a wrapped loop. So the reason that I'm using the wire in the center is because my beads wouldn't normally fit on this Lovely Knots cording. It's the one millimeter size. My beads don't have holes big enough to fit the one millimeter cording. So I'm going to put my beads on the, the wire, but if you had larger beads, you wouldn't need to take this step. Um, you could just thread them right onto the cording. So then I'm going to thread all my beads here. So I've got some crystals and some metal beads just to create a little design. All right, so now I've got the other side to do here. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and because I left some space here to do the wraps, I'm going to actually bend the wire with a little bit of spacing. So I'm going to snug my round nose pliers right up tight to the, the beads. I'm going to fold the wire over and then I'm going to shift my plier because I want to come around this barrel to create my loop. So there's the loop and it looks similar in size to the one on the other end. And then I'm going to just hold with my needle nose pliers and wrap the loop tight. Now the reason I'm holding with the needle nose pliers and not the round nose pliers is every time you hold the wire with your round nose pliers you're putting a mark on the wire. And you can actually squeeze through the wire if you're not careful there. If you're holding really tightly. So take the tail end off and I'll just use my needle nose pliers here to tuck that end back in. Okay, so there's my center piece done. Now, moving on to the cording, I have two pieces here that are cut at 30 centimeters and one piece that's cut at 20 centimeters. So the two 30, piece cent 30 centimeter pieces are gonna be the two sides. So they're gonna come through. And then I have some little metal beads that will fit both cords through them. Now it's a tight fit, so I'm going to put the one cord through first. And then I've got an easy eye needle here. And for the second cord, I'm going to use the easy eye needle to get it through. So I'll just thread it through and I'm going to use the pliers to pull it. Take the easy eye needle off and then I'm just going to match my two cord ends up and pull it down. So I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I will come back and show you how to do this barrel knot um, with the 20 centimeter piece. Okay so I'm back I've got both sides done and I've curved it around to create my bracelet shape. Now I'm working with this 20 centimeter cord and this may seem like an extra step but I'm just gonna tie a little knot in each end of the cord and you'll understand why later. Okay, so we're gonna lay the cord down with most of the cord um, on my right hand side. I'm gonna bring it back. So now I've got a loop on this side and then I'm gonna start wrapping my tail end around all the other cords. So tight as you can get it. Um, I know my fingers are in the way, I'm sorry. 
ear wrapping it. So decide how many wraps you want. I didn't get mine as tight as I wanted them, but they're there. And I will just take the tail end and tuck it through my loop. So there it's tucked through. And then I'm just gonna pull the other tail end to pull it in tight. So pull on both ends, get it good and tight. Okay, now you can see all these tail ends sticking out here from the bracelet and from the knot. The reason I tied the two little knots on these is so that I knew which ones to cut off. So that way um, I'm not cutting the wrong cord. So I'm going to trim these up nice and tight. And then I've got a thread zapper here. Um, you can use just a, a, burn, a lighter or something to burn the ends. Um, this is just going to heat up and burn my end in, fuse it. Okay, so there you can see that slides on both sides. And then all I've got left to do is just put my little tail end beads on. So same thing, thread the one through first, and then I'll just grab the easy eye needle to thread the other end through. I'm just going to tie an overhand knot here. So everything matches up together around and through. And same thing on the other side. This easy eye needle that I've got has been used before and it looks like it's been used and abused a bit, but they're pretty tough. They work for a lot of things. So I'll just tie our overhand knot. Okay, so there's your bracelet done. A quick and easy little bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed that and have a good day.